Close your eyes. Watch your breath. As we meditate, we depend on strength of body and strength of mind. Strength of body comes from the breath. Strength of mind comes from your attitude. So first try to find a way of breathing that feels good, and find a way of thinking that gives strength to the mind. The Buddha talks about five strengths. There's conviction, the words conviction in the Buddha's awakening, which means conviction in the principle of action, that your actions really will make a difference. Where do your actions come from? They come from the mind. So that means you have to focus on developing the mind. That's the next strength, which is persistence. You really work at this. Because the mind has good potentials and also has some pretty bad potentials. And you've got to learn how to recognize which is which and learn how to develop the good ones. Get, let go of the bad ones. That requires mindfulness, which is the third strength. That you keep these principles in mind. And that way, when you do it, the mind will finally settle down. And that's when you gain strength of concentration. This, of all the different factors of the path, is the one the Buddha compares to food. He talks about your practice as being like a fortress. You've got the soldiers of right effort, you've got the gatekeeper, <clears throat> who's mindfulness. They need food. They have their weapons, which is the knowledge you've gained. But even with the best weapons, if they don't have food, that's not going to go very far. So the food is concentration. Let the mind rest for a while. And it's not just resting, it's also mindful and alert at the same time, which means it's still and gathering at strength. Like an electric generator. You look at it, it's not doing anything. It's humming, but inside it's spinning around. And John Lee gives a comparison. When you're alert in the course of concentration, you try to look at the body, look at the mind, look at the body, look at the mind, make sure they stay together. That way you generate power. And then that becomes the basis for discernment, which cuts through things that weigh the mind down. So this is how you feed the mind. This is how you give strength to the mind. Because of the two kinds of strength, strength of body, strength of mind. Strength of mind is a lot more important. The strength of the body is going to have to deteriorate at some point. It wears out all the time. But we, we're used to being able to get some of it back, get some of it back. But there will come a time when you can't get it back. At that point you have to depend solely on strength of mind. So work on that, on your attitudes. The conviction that yes, your actions can make a difference. And so the effort that's put into acting in skillful ways is more than repaid. When you have that attitude, then you can fight off all the unskillful sides of the mind and come out victorious. The fortress is safe because the soldiers are well fed, well armed. Anything unskillful that one's trying to, trying to make its way in just can't make its way in. <laughs>